everybody, my name is Mrs. Connolly. Welcome to Back to School Night. This is digital art and graphic design class. I'm standing here in my class. As you can see, this is pretty much what it looks like every day. What I plan on doing today is showing you, I know this is a different type of back to school because it's not interactive, but I do wanna show you in this video, I have, I've heard a lot of questions from parents. So I'm not only gonna show you tonight um, what the expectations are for class and what class is like. So we're gonna get started. I thought what you might like to see is a little short video that my students made in the past that kind of explains what digital art is like. Let's check this out. AV Digital Arts is a class designed to teach students the fundamentals of graphic design and digital arts. Students are able to work with professional design programs like Adobe Illustrator, InDesign, and Photoshop. My favorite thing about digital art is being able to learn about the different programs like InDesign and Illustrator and to play around with the, dif the different tools and effects. What I like most about digital art is the idea in which you can kind of decompress away from like generic school like which we experience and then also I enjoy like the idea where I'm not like as I'm not that good at drawing but I can still express my artistic side. Take your skills in the 21st century. Sign up for digital arts today. So let me now walk through how we do things here in digital art. Um, I'm a teacher. I don't use Google Classroom very much only because I use a website instead. And I had a lot of feedback from students that when I was using Google Classroom, we have so many different tutorials and assignments and other things like that, that students were telling me they just felt completely overwhelmed by all the emails that came out, by all the stuff. They couldn't tell what was a tutorial to watch, what was an assignment to do. So I continue to use my, uh, my school website. We will be using Google Classroom, but just for assignment submission only. All the other resources will be here on my website. Um, you can see here on my, um, on my website that I actually have um, all of the assignments listed. In addition, every presentation that I give is on Google Slides. Those Google Slides are accessible, accessible by students every week. So you can see here on the website, there's also a spot where I include important information class expectations, the welcome letter, but I also include tutorials. This website is going to become more and more robust as the year goes along, but the students will always have access to everything we've done. And that's gonna be really important because as we begin to, um, to work with more technology and other things like that, it's really important that our students have the ability to access old tutorials, to access all different kinds of other apps and sites and everything else that we're gonna use. Okay, now I'd like to walk you through some of the regular slides from Back to School Night that I've done in the past so you learn a little bit more about the class. Okay, so let's just go over a couple slides as we move through here. Um, first is housekeeping stuff. Hopefully, all of um, the students and parents in the class read the welcome letter. This is really important and that you all read the class expectations as well. I'm going to ask the students tomorrow if they can um, let me know if everybody read it and they're going to have to sign something that said they read it. Next, um, students often ask and parents ask, okay, what is digital art? And a lot of people think, well, you take art, you put it on the computer, and that's digital art. But that's not what we study in our class. In our class, the kids learn quickly that the computer is no substitute for poor design. We will learn all of the different elements of graphic design, from contrast to repetition, to alignment, to proximity, to color, to scale, to texture, to shape, to line. It's, we will learn so much in our graphic design class. And it's gonna be a lot of fun because this is the one class I believe where kids learn so many marketable skills that they'll be able to use in the future. So what do I expect from the kids? I expect them to be on time. I expect them to, to, to participate in class. I expect them to get their work done and more importantly, to ask for help. Um, but I also expect the students to have fun. This is digital art class. This is something I am very passionate about and I love doing. So I love when students just really enjoy being in class. So what do the kids need to be successful? Well, they need to have a notebook. 
It is really important that students take notes in our class whenever they're having class instruction days because they just need to make sure there's so much that we cover in our class, they'll never remember all of it. So taking notes is important. So that's why they need something to write with too. They need their school Gmail because that's how you access everything on my website. Um, in addition, they need headphones, and headphones are important because they need them so that they can listen to the tutorials. And then they just need a good attitude because, again, these should be fun assignments. So, I hope you enjoyed this presentation. If you need to reach me um, in my welcome letter, you can, you can find my email address. All of my students have my phone number. They are allowed to text me as well. Um, I think that's really important right now that my students are able to get a hold of me right away because if there's a problem they need help and I don't want I don't want any of my students stressing out so they have my phone number they have my email address you are welcome to email me information please go to our website regularly because you will find that you can click on most of our assignments you can see if your son or daughter has submitted their work um, and that should be it. So if you have any questions or anything else, please feel free to contact me. Um, I hope you uh, enjoyed this back to school night video and talk soon.